经过半山罗变神道，有冇发现一排高楼住宅入面有一座犹太会堂呢？犹太人几千年嚟都受到其他种族欺凌，所以自我保护意识好强。佢系喺加拿大嚟香港住咗二二十年嘅犹太人 Howard Elias。We have security here 24/7, so that we can, our members can feel safe. 犹太教堂建于一九零一年。喺会堂入面嘅石碑清楚记录咗当时居港嘅犹太富商沙宣家族捐地同埋钱起教堂，用嚟纪念佢哋嘅妈妈利亚，所以会堂就叫利亚堂。虽然利亚堂系香港嘅一级历史建筑，又获联合国教科文组织亚太区二千年文物古迹保护奖优异项目奖，但系非犹太教徒要入内参观并唔容易。The first time I came here was March 1992, and I didn't know anybody in Hong Kong. And I walked in, and the, the synagogue looked very different than it looks today. It was, it was really, it was falling apart. It was before the renovation, so it was all white inside, except for the chairs, which were brown. The, the floor is the original. The carpet was different. 利亚堂喺一九九七年十一月至到第二年九月犹太教新年之前完成大翻身，变成而家咁样。会堂入面仲保留咗原用至今嘅云石地砖，因为用咗好耐，所以藤椅背同埋座位都已经损毁。曾经改用木板密封，大翻身之后就全部用翻藤网，仲增加咗犹太标记，例如由普通吊灯改为由灯底向上望，系犹太星嘅大吊灯。So there's some symbolism on here. We have the Jewish star, which is our, probably our biggest symbol. And up on top we have the crown, which symbolizes the crown of God. And the inscription in the middle comes from the Bible. It's the story of Jacob when he was wrestling with the angel of God, where he realized when when he had this dream, he realized that he was standing in very holy ground. And what he said was, "How awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and these are the gates of heaven." 打开布帘同埋大门。就系、是、会堂最神圣嘅地方，圣殿。呢度藏有多卷用陶盖保护嘅手抄羊皮纸经卷《摩西五经》。呢啲有历史同纪念价值嘅经卷，平时唔会用，一般祷告其实都系用普通经书嘅